Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a spooky expansion for Kill Dr. Lucky called Dr. Lucky's Mansion That is Haunted. Dr. Lucky's Mansion That Is Haunted is an expansion board for Kill Dr. Lucky where players are ghosts traveling around this mansion trying to kill the guy again. It wasn't enough to kill him when everybody was alive. Now we're ghosts trying to kill him again. The guy just needs to be killed. So players are able, in this version, players can walk through walls. There are a few portals they can teleport. And line of sight is a little less complicated. It's just if you can see in a straight line, you can see them. It plays exactly the same way other than those three things. You're trying to be the person that kills Dr. Lucky, and you're the winner of the game. Let's go down to the table, see how it plays. All right, so here we have the newest expansion for Kill Dr. Lucky 19.5 Anniversary Edition. This is Dr. Lucky's Mansion That Is Haunted. Ooh, creepy. So in order to play this, you have to have the 19.5 Anniversary version, basically because you need the cards and you need the pawns. You could probably play this, no, because it's have, have different rooms. So yeah, you need to have the 19.5 Anniversary Edition. So if you want to play this, pick that up as well. So I'm going to go over how the game kind of works, and then I'm going to, but first I'm going to explain the differences between this and the base game. So in this expansion, we're trying to kill Dr. Lucky. He is already a zombie. Oh, well, I guess he's not a zombie yet. Here, he's the host right here. But if we can kill him, we can turn him into a ghost. Ooh. All right. So we're trying to kill Dr. Lucky. So let's play him as the ghost here. All right. And we're all taking on the roles of one of these characters. So in the game, I have Mr. Orange. I can't read his name. Augustus Orange. Okay, that's easy enough. Here we have Faye Chanceworthy. She's green. They're two-sided, so you can also be this strapping lad if you would like we have rose and lily sutcliffe i think that's what how you say their name or you can be may moon smelt he's probably into gold or something and we have quinsett small she's the blue character if you don't want to be her you can be skeeter hopkins also blue so i picked all ladies except for this one guy because he has a noose and that's cool and depending on the number of players, you're gonna get a certain amount of cards. Anything up to six, you're gonna get six cards. If you're playing with seven or eight, you're going to get seven cards. Everyone's gonna start in the foyer, or foyer, however you wanna call it. And then Dr. Lucky is going to start in the gallery, number 19. All right, so let me explain the differences between this and the base game of Kill Dr. Lucky. So in this one, players can see through walls because they're ghosts. So if, I, if Orange player was here, and this player was there, and everybody else was up here, this player could see into this player because they can see, see through walls. Uh, same with Dr. Lucky, same sight lines, all that good stuff. Um, there are two, three portals. There's a globe that you can transport to this globe in the laboratory and the service quarters. There's the Raven in the sitting room that will go up to Widow's Walk. And then there's the portrait of Dr. Lucky in the kitchen that will go to, where's the other portrait? The master suite. All right, and movement, unlike the other Dr. Lucky, you normally have to move where there are stairs or like, you know, a hallway. This one, since we're ghosts, we can move through walls. So if I'm, I can, on my turn, I wanna move one, I can go to the drawing room, the piazza, sitting room, or dining hall. And that's how the game is gonna play. The differences, I guess. The game's gonna play exactly like Kill Dr. Lucky with those three changes. All right, so on a player's turn, what you're gonna do is you're going to be able to, we're gonna say orange is first because I'm gonna go top to bottom, it's easier. So you're going to do a movement phase and then you're gonna do an action phase. So on a movement phase, you get one free movement. So I could move this one to any room that I want to. And then I can play additional cards to move further if I would like. And then if I'm alone with Dr. Lucky, where no one can see me, I can make a murder attempt. But in this case, everyone can see me, so that's not gonna happen. And also, Dr. Lucky's gonna move around the numbered rooms till he gets to, you know, wherever he goes. And if he ends his turn where somebody is, it's that person's turn. So sometimes the turn order does switch, so just keep that in mind. 
So it's orange player's turn. Let's see. Oh, and some of these cards, the cards are going to look like this. They can be used for movement. They can be used for um, failure cards, which you, you see the the shamrocks. In order to to defeat a murder attempt, you need to have shamrocks equal to the value, so you can play this for movement or shamrocks. They're just regular fail cards that look like this. They have shamrocks as well. Different numbers, I believe, but all these players are the same. But here's a one that they have, so there's one shamrock. And there are also weapon cards, which we'll see one of those when we get to another player's hand. All right, so on the orange player's turn, he would like to move. So where is Augustine? I think that's his name. Where does he want to move to? He's going to start getting in line so no one can see him. So he's going to move. Where's the trophy room? Number trophy room. Uh, here. He's going to move here. He's going to play this card. It's out of the game. Once you discard a guard, it's out of the game forever. So this card is gone forever. And then no one can see him. He can draw a card or he could kill Dr. Lucky if he's in the same room. He's not. So he's going to draw a card. And he drew a big failure card. Failure three. All right. And that was Orange Player's turn. Next, we're going to go to green. We're going to see what Faye Chanceworthy has in store for the good old Doc. Uh, so here's what a weapon card looks like. It's going to be used as a weapon. It's going to have that attack value of the number. It's going to have an additional power if it's in that certain room, which you can read right there. And it's also going to have some failures. So you can use these cards in multiple different ways, which is kind of cool. All right, so it's Green's turn. Oh, and Dr. Lucky would move to 20 after Orange's turn. So let's see. Can she go where he is? Yes. All right. So she's going to move to the Tennessee room where Dr. Lucky is. So she's going to teleport up here. And now she's in a room where no one can see her. Straight lines. Straight lines. No one can see her. She's going to try to kill that old doctor with a tight hat. So she's going to play a two-power weapon. So now what that means is players have to decide if they want to use their shamrocks or they're going to hold them and hope that somebody else has enough to fail that that murder attempt. So Gray says, eh, I'd really like to have a turn. So they're going to play one. So they're playing one failure. So now they need to have one more failure between the next three players. Let's see what Quinsett has. She has a one failure, but she's not going to play that. She's going to make sh make Orange do it. So Orange has a one failure as well, and they will play that. Murder attempt is foiled. All right. Nice try, but they failed. All right, and then Dr. Lucky's going to move to 21. They don't get to draw a card because they did a murder attempt. You can either draw a card or do a murder attempt. Now, let me explain. If someone didn't play, if as the rest of the players, they could not play the number of failures, which in this case were, were two, then green player would have won. That would have been the end. So eventually this deck is going to run out. When the deck runs out, you can't draw any more cards. So the game could be over before that, but if not, it will definitely end when this deck runs out because there won't be any more failure cards. So as the game progresses, there's going to be less and less shamrocks for players to use to help defeat the murder attempts. So that was green player's turn. Now it is gray player's turn. Rose and Lily Sutcliffe. Let's see. They want to get far away from this guy. Where can they go here? Let's see. I'm looking for the winter garden. Where's the winter garden? Oh, yeah, let's go down here. They're going to move down here. I'll, yeah, yeah, they'll move down here. Play their Winter Garden card. And then no one can see them, so they're going to draw a card. They drew a failure. All these cards have interesting little flavor text too, but I won't read that. If you get the game, you can check that out yourself. Then it's Blue Player's turn, and Dr. Lucky moves to 22. All right, let's see. Blue Player has... They're going to move right here, because that's going to be smart. Dr. Lucky can see them, so they are not able to draw a card. So then he's going to move. Now it's their turn again. And they're not going to move because they want to stay where Dr. Lucky is. And they are going to... Oof. No one can see them. They can see here. This player can see here. This player can see here and here. So they're safe right here. They're going to play the killing joke. So this no weapon would normally be a three. But in the drawing room, 
it's worth six. So players have to come up with six failures to defeat this player from killing Dr. Lucky. So let's see, we'll start with orange. What does orange have? So you can play as many cards, many of these cards as you want. So orange will say, I really don't want you to win already. So they're gonna play a three and a two. So that's five. We need one more with three more players. So let's see, green. Yeah, they'll go ahead and play some sweet music and help this fail. So that failed. So this card is gone. This player is done. Dr. Lucky moves to the foyer. And then it is orange player's turn. Orange player is running low on cards and all they have are failures, which is good, but it doesn't really help with murder attempts. So let's see, they want to go to the master suite. Um, yep, someone can see them, so let's see. They need to draw some cards, but they can't right now. Yeah, so they can be seen, so they can't draw any cards, so they're done. Uneventful turn. Dr. Lucky moves to two, which is the piazza. It's green player's turn. They are going to move to the billiard room, and they would like to draw a card. And they got a cool shoehorn. The artwork is pretty neat. It's like old school, like vintage. I like it. So they're done. Dr. Lucky's gonna move to three. Uh, let's see, so it's gray player's turn. They are in there. What's he in? He's in the wine cellar. So they will move to, where's the kitchen up in this piece? Right there, I don't wanna go there. They're gonna move down here to the servant's quarters. No one can see them. Yep, someone can see them. So they can't draw a card, so they're done. Then it is blue player's turn, Quinsett. What's she want to play here? So Dr. Lucky's gonna go to four. So let's see, let's see here. Armory. They're gonna move to the lilac room up here. They're gonna do that by playing this. So they move to the lilac room. No one can see them. No, I'm just kidding. They can see them. So they don't get to draw a card. All right, Dr. Lucky's moving to number five, which is here. It's orange player's turn. They want to get some cards, because this is terrible. Terrible, I say. All right, so what they're gonna do is they're going to teleport from this portrait to that portrait for one. They can't draw any cards because it can still be seen, but they're gonna get one step closer to getting some stuff. Dr. Lucky's moving here. And now it is gray player's turn because Dr. Lucky's in the same room. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I can make an attempt here. Parlor, where's the parlor? Parlor, parlor. Can't find it. Maybe that's the foyer. Some of these rooms have different names. Yeah, I don't want to go there. Uh, let's see. Kitchen. Don't want to go to the kitchen. All right, I'm just going to move to the piazza because that cannot be seen by anybody. And I get to draw a card. All right, so that was Gray's turn. Now Dr. Lucky's going to move to number seven. Where's number seven? Seven, seven. Let's see. Oh, right there. Whoops. All right. So seven, and then it's going to be blue player's turn. Uh, let's see. They cannot go anywhere, so they want to get out of the way so they can get some cards. Uh, let's see. They're going to move to the wine cellar. Still be seen by people, so they can't draw any cards, but they're done. Orange player's turn. They are going to go to the billiard room. Nope, dang man, they can't get anywhere. Let's see. All right, sweet, they can come back over here because nobody can see them here because this person's looking this way. Yeah, so they're back here. They're gonna take a card. Hard candy, boom. All right, green player's turn, maybe. Yep, Dr. Lucky's in the sitting room. Let's see here. Green players in Lilac, they're gonna move to the laboratory. 
and someone can see them so they cannot draw a card. Now we're going to go to green or gray, and they're going to move to nine. Let's see. And oh, here's the parlor. Eh, right there. Widow's Walk. I don't really want to do that though. Let's see. I'm going to move to the hedge maze for gray. And no one can see them. Yep, this person can see them. So they cannot draw a card. Dr. Lucky's moving to 10. It's Blue's turn. Let's see here. Blue would like to go here to the kitchen. Then they can draw a card because no one can see them. All right, done. Orange turn. Dr. Lucky's in 11. And it's orange turns anyway. Look at that. All right. So it looks like Orange is about to make a murder attempt up in this piece. So they are going to try to kill Dr. Lucky with some hard candy. That has a value of two. So we have to play two worth of failures. So let's check what Green has. Green has a two, but they only have one. And they don't want to play it, so they're not going to play it. So let's see what Gray does. Gray has one, so they're going to play one. They're really hoping that Blue has one. So they're playing one. And then blue is going to, they have one, they got lucky. Boom. So they defeated the hard candy weapon attack. And he was unsuccessful. Dr. Lucky moves to 12. And then it would be green player's turn again. And that is how you're gonna keep progressing the game until either someone kills Dr. Lucky. Well, yeah, I guess that's the end of the game. Until someone kills Dr. Lucky. So you're going to keep playing like that, moving and taking actions, either drawing cards or trying to kill Dr. Lucky, trying to get out of people's sight, trying to just make sure that you can be in al alone in the room with the old guy and off him in some fantastic way. Like, let's see, like some rat poison. That's pretty slick. Or let's see, what else we got in here? Ooh, a billiard cube. I mean, come on, hit the guy with a pool stick. A poison pen, you could dip that in rat poison, that'd be awesome. Right, so that's a little bit of what you're gonna do. That's how you're gonna play the game. Let's go up to the top and see what we think about it. All right, so that was Dr. Lucky's mansion that is haunted. Ooh. So I love Dr. Lucky. We've gone through that. You saw me do Island of Dr. Lucky. I told you that one was my favorite. That hasn't changed. I still like Island better because it has a little more pieces, but I like this one as well. Um, it's just a spin-off kill after Lucky, but you're ghost and you can walk through walls. That's cool. Uh, the line of sight system is much easier. You can just, hey, I can see you straight there. You can see somebody. You don't have to worry about, you know, is there a hallway? Can I see down the hallway? It's less fiddly. Uh, the gameplay is exactly the same. It has the, the nice art that's in um, the Island of Dr. Lucky, which I also enjoy. Uh, it again everything plays the same way so if you're a fan of dr lucky you're gonna play this one nice thing about this one is it's a little creepier theme so you can bust it out of halloween maybe get some more plays of dr lucky in in a different fashion you might be tired of playing on the other board it's going to give you some new stuff to look at so if you like dr lucky you like the um, any of the dr lucky series save kill or island i would say check this out you're not going to be disappointed it's a fun game. It's easy. You can play up to eight people too, which is amazing. There's not a lot of fun games outside of party games that you can play with more than five people. So if you like Kill Dr. Lucky, you like eight player games, you like fun games that are silly, this is a game you need to check out. So that was Dr. Lucky's Mansion that is haunted. Ooh. So if you enjoyed this review, there'll be a screen coming up of wherever you can check us out. If you want to see more of my ugly mug or my co-host mug or some beautiful ladies that we have on the channel too. So yeah, uh, I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. That was a review for Dr. Lucky to mention that it's haunted and keep gaming.